So I've been looking to upgrade RAM on my desktop PC because I do a lot of video editing and currently I have 32 gigabyte of RAM and there's a Black Friday sale going on so I finally upgraded. So before you purchase the RAM make sure it's compatible with your motherboard and your PC and I'm running a Dell XPS 8930 and it has to be this configuration. In order to get a 64 gigabyte, each slot will have to have 16 gigabyte. All right. And I currently have 32 with the 8 gigabyte that you see right there. So after doing a little bit of research, I bought two sets of the 32 gigabyte RAM that you see right there. So that's going to get me a total of 64 gigabyte that I've been looking for. So this is the Crucial Pro brand. I've never used these before, but fortunately, it's also made by the same company as Micron, you know, Micron Technologies. So these are simple desktop memory, not laptop, all right, plug and play. And this is the 32 megahertz Pro with the heat spreader version. And it's advertised to run about 3000 megahertz and also compatible with the 2666 megahertz. And it works with Intel Core 8th to 13th gen and AMD Ryzen 1000 5000 series desktop CPUs. Okay. And here's basically what it looks like. So I purchased two sets of these Crucial Pro 32 gigabyte DDR4 RAM by Micron Technologies. That's the same company that one time made desktop PCs. So this is the 32 megahertz Pro with heat spreader version. It's advertised to run 3000 megahertz or at a minimum of 2666 megahertz. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this carefully. Oh, I'm glad it slides out easily. Okay, so let's look at one of these. Here's what it looks like. Make sure you wash your hands. See the Hicks spreader. Okay. Very nice. All right, so I have my desktop PC unplugged. And this is the Dell XPS 8930. You see me pull up, pull out in the tab. And then the cover comes out. Okay. Like that. It's a little bit dusty, so it might be take the time to wipe the dust, clean the fan. And if you look down there, there's the four RAM, eight gigabyte RAM. Oh, I want to warn you to prevent static electricity, make sure you touch the side of the cover before you touch the RAM, all right? That's just discharge discharge any electric static electricity. So you see right there. There are the two red and two green ones. Looks like I mixed and match and upgraded also with the RAM. So we're going to remove the RAM. Just hit down the tab until that pops up. And just pull it out. Looks like these are the T4s. These have done me plenty of good. And because we are all using 16 gigabyte, it doesn't matter which slot. They all go the same. Okay. And now it's time to install the new RAM. Just reverse the process. 16 gigabytes into each slot. I sure wish this was easier to uh, reach in there. So for my configuration, it goes in like this because you see it's not even, the, the slot in the middle is not even. So longer end goes in the inside. So it goes in like this. All right. So when you press it in, make sure it snaps, clicks and snaps both tabs. Okay. 
All right, so I did a PC restart, a startup, and at first I only detected 32 gigabyte, and then I tried to uh, tighten up the RAM, and you notice, and then when we start up, you see this? You see that tab on the very first one right there? You see how that's uh, sticking up? Yeah, I need to fix that. You see that one right there? Okay, so that makes sense because I was flabbergasted. And this time I ensure it clicked and they're all flush. Time to start up the PC and hope everything works. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay guys, so let me start up systems and make sure everything is working. And there you see it, it detects 64 gigabyte of RAM. I didn't have to mess around the BIOS. All right, so in order to test to see if the increase in RAM would matter with video editing, I'll be editing the same video right here. Six minutes and 41 seconds. And as you can see right here, currently before putting in the memory, 32 gigabyte, I'll be using this uh, timer okay so i'm going to export it as a 4k video okay and i'll just name it 32 gigabyte okay all right so once i click on export i'm gonna start here we go Okay, so let me see how long this takes. And I also want to mention I'm not running any other software and I have to remind myself that I closed all my uh, Chrome browser because that can take some memory. Still going. Okay, looks like we're coming down. It's doing some post-processing. As soon as it fully stops, I'm going to stop the timer. Okay, so that fully stopped. So a little bit, probably about uh, 5 minutes and 16 seconds. So here's the test. I'm going to edit the same video, but let me pull up the task manager. Show you guys the 64 gigabyte of RAM and show how it performs while I'm running. It. So here we are. So I'm going to edit this video. Export it. Okay, it's going to be a 4K video. I just call it in the mark 64 gigabyte. So as soon as I Say export, I'm going to hit the timer. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. So see how long this takes. I might as well pull up the RAM usage right here. And I minimize all my Google Chrome just as before. And I can tell it's already, see the predicting is a lot less. It was 5 minutes and 15 seconds before. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Now we just have to let it finish post-processing. So from 5 minutes 15 seconds to about 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Now I'm testing out the... RAM capacity, exporting a 4K video while doing some multitasking, just as writing subtitles on this movie. There he goes. And also watching this brand new trailer from Donnie Yen. <laughs> multitasking. All right. What about some surfing on the website? There you go. 
So I'm quite happy with the increase in performance. Now I can also surf the web, game, uh, listen to music videos, and also do video editing without worrying about running out of RAM. So you're looking to upgrade your RAM to its max capacity and increase your productivity, especially if you're working from home. Definitely give the Crucial Pro memory a look.